Tandig, officially the city of Tandig, and often referred to as Tandig City, is a fifth-class city and capital of the province of Surigao del Sur, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 56,364 people. The city celebrates the Dewanahan Festival on the third week of January in honor of Señor Sto. Niño. It also celebrates Ara ng Tandig every September 10 showcasing the city's blissful achievements through the years. Farming and fishing are the main economic activity for most of the people in Tandig. Chief farm products are rice, corn, and coconut. Livestock and poultry raising are also important sources of income. Tandig has a national secondary airport and a seaport. Etymology Many versions have been given regarding the name of Tandig. One such version said that Father Kalin, Father Encarnacion and another priest were on their way to visit Chieftain Suba to baptize his people. When one of the missionaries asked a native rowing their boat what name of the place was with fingers pointing downward, the native who not the priest meant the school of fish, answered, Tamda, meaning look down. This name later became Tandig. Father Encarnacion, the member of the group, was later killed by the natives. The other version says that when de la Vega landed in Tandig to subdue the ferocious Caragas as the Rebellios natives were called then, he did not know the name of the place so he inquired from the native who was gathering the leaves of herbs locally known as Tangat. The native who did not understand Spanish answered hesitantly, Tangat. Later, the name was changed to Tandig. Another story tells a group of Spanish soldiers and missionaries who lost their way. When they asked for correct direction, the natives who could not understand a word they said only laughed at them all while saying the word, tank, meaning lost. Thus the name Tandig aptly means lost. History Long before Tandig became what it is today, the bustling capital town of Surigao del Sur was inhabited by the Manabos and the Mamanwas who lived along the river banks under the leadership of Suba, their chieftain. Suba was later converted into Christianity by Father Juan de la Encarnacion, a Spanish missionary. After Legazpi's final conquest to the Philippines particularly on 1609, the Spanish government sent missionaries to subdue the hostile natives. One of these missionaries was Father Juan de la Vega who was assigned in Tandig. In an effort to establish a symbol of authority, Fr. de la Vega erected a stone fort and built a small settlement about a size of a football field enclosed by a stone wall. Out of this settlement rose the town of Tandig, which later on became a center of faith. About this period, Tandig became a port of call to the Spanish galleon that sailed along the southern part of Mindanao. Until today, it is generally believed that somewhere underneath the deep sea near Tandig's twin Linongao Islands lies a sunken galleon. In 1650, Tandig became the capital town of Surigao or Caraga, then a district that covered the present provinces of Agusan, the two Surigaos and a part of Davao. As center of faith and capital town, Tandig was fortified with katas which were erected sometime in the 18th century, within the northern part of the town and near the old cemetery at the western side. These fortifications served to protect the town from Moro raids. In several separate attacks between 1754 and 1767, the Moro pirates wrought havoc and destruction to Tandig. Father José Ducos, a Jesuit from Iligan, came to rescue and rebuild Tandig from the ruins wrought by these Moro raids. He established the Tandig garrison and restored the Tandig priory. Although the Tandig fort somehow survived, part of it was demolished during the Second World War. Calamities like typhoons and earthquakes finished off what remained of it. This explains why no remains of these structures could be seen today. World War II For much of the war Tandig was free from Japanese occupation when the American and Filipino military forces surrendered in May 1942. However, on April 27, 1944, about 500 Japanese troops landed by a number of boats a short distance outside town. Most of the residents fled to the mountains nearby when the Japanese arrived. The 10th Military District of the U.S. Army maintained a guerrilla presence on Mindanao through World War II. Capt. Charles Hansen led a small group of guerrillas against the Japanese. 
Outnumbered, the guerrillas were unable to dislodge the Japanese and about 10 days later another group of guerrillas made a second attempt to force the Japanese out. The Japanese remained in town several weeks and left after causing much damage in Tandig. Real transformation was finally afforded to Tandig via Republic Act 2786, an act that created Surigao del Sur and whose salient measure made Tandig the capital and seat of the provincial government of Surigao del Sur. On June 23, 2007, Tandig by virtue of RA 9293 became a city. Cityhood During the 11th Congress 1998 Congress enacted into law 33 bills converting 33 municipalities into cities. However, Congress did not act on a further 24 bills converting 24 other municipalities into cities. During the 12th Congress 2001 to 2004, Congress enacted into law Republic Act No. 9009, RA 9009, which took effect on 30 June 2001. RA 9009 amended Section 450 of the Local Government Code by increasing the annual income requirement for conversion of a municipality into a city from 20 million pesos to 100 million pesos. The rationale for the amendment was to restrain, in the words of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, the mad rush of municipalities to convert into cities solely to secure a larger share in the internal revenue allotment despite the fact that they are incapable of fiscal independence. After RA 9009 went into effect, the House of Representatives of the 12th Congress adopted Joint Resolution No. 29, which sought to exempt from the 100 million pesos income requirement in RA 9009 the 24 municipalities whose cityhood bills were not approved in the 11th Congress. However, the 12th Congress ended without the Senate having approved Joint Resolution No. 29. During the 13th Congress 2004 the House of Representatives re-adopted former Joint Resolution No. 29 as Joint Resolution No. 1 and forwarded it to the Senate for approval. However, the Senate again failed to approve the Joint Resolution. Following the suggestion of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, Senate President, 16 municipalities filed, through their respective sponsors, individual cityhood bills. The 16 cityhood bills each contained a common provision exempting it from the 100 million pesos income requirement of RA 9009. Exemption from Republic Act No. 9009 the city of XXX shall be exempted from the income requirement prescribed under Republic Act No. 9009. On the 22nd of December 2006, the House of Representatives approved the cityhood bills. The Senate also approved the cityhood bills in February 2007, except that of Naga, Cebu which was passed on 7 June 2007. These cityhood bills lapsed into law on various dates from March to July 2007 after President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo failed to sign them. The point of law at issue in 2007 was whether there had been a breach of Section 10, Article 10 of the 1987 Constitution, which provides, no province, city, municipality, or barangay shall be created, divided, merged, abolished or its boundary substantially altered, except in accordance with the criteria established in the local government code and subject to approval by a majority of the votes cast in a plebiscite in the political units directly affected and in each case the established criteria were far from met. In November 2008, Tandig and 15 other cities lost their cityhood after the Supreme Court of the Philippines granted a petition filed by the League of Cities of the Philippines, and declared unconstitutional the cityhood law RA 9392, which had allowed the town to acquire its city status. The Supreme Court ruled that they did not pass the requirements for cityhood. On 10 December 2008, the 16 cities affected acting together filed a motion for reconsideration with the Supreme Court. More than a year later, on the 22nd of December 2009, acting on said appeal, the court reversed its earlier ruling as it ruled that, at the end of the day, the passage of the amendatory law regarding the criteria for cityhood is set by Congress is no different from the enactment of a law, i.e., the cityhood laws specifically exempting a particular political subdivision from the criteria earlier mentioned. 
Congress, in enacting the exempting law S, effectively decreased the already codified indicators. Accordingly cityhood status was restored. But on 27 August 2010, the 16 cities lost their city status again, after the Supreme Court voted 7-6, with two justices not taking part, to reinstate the 2008 decision declaring as unconstitutional. The Republic Acts that converted the 16 municipalities into cities. A previous law required towns aspiring to become cities to earn at least 100 million pesos annually, which none of the 16 did. On 15 February 2011, the Supreme Court made another volt face and upheld for the third time the cityhood of 16 towns in the Philippines. Finally, on 12 April 2011, the Supreme Court, in an end bank ruling delivered in Baguio City, affirmed the finality of the constitutionality of the 16 cityhood laws by resolving that. We should not ever lose sight of the fact that the 16 cities covered by the cityhood laws not only had conversion bills pending during the 11th Congress, but have also complied with the requirements of the LGC, prescribed prior to its amendment by R.A. No. 9009. Congress undeniably gave these cities all the considerations that justice and fair play demanded. Hence, this court should do no less by stamping its imprimatur to the clear and unmistakable legislative intent and by duly recognizing the certain collective wisdom of Congress. Wherefore, the ad cautelum motion for reconsideration of the decision dated 15 February 2011 is denied with finality. On 28 June 2011 the Supreme Court directed the Clerk of Court to issue the entry of judgment on the cityhood case of 16 municipalities. Geography Tandig City is located along the northeastern coast of Mindanao Island facing the Philippine Sea. It is bounded on the north by the municipalities of Cortes and Lanusa, on the east by the Philippine Sea, on the south by the towns of Tago and San Miguel, and on the west by the province of Agusan del Sur. It is located 448 nautical miles from Manila and 150 nautical miles from Cebu. The distance from Surigao City in the north to Tandig is about 200 kilometers, 120 miles, and 331 kilometers, 206 miles is the distance from Davao City to the south. Demographics. It consists of 21 21 barangays. Six of which are urban barangays, five are coastal barangays, four are built-up expansion and six are hinterland barangays. The urban barangays comprise 1,594.10 hectares, 3,464.61 hectares for coastal barangays, 2,233.15 hectares for built-up expansion barangays and 4,964.34 hectares for hinterland barangays. Barangays Tandig is politically subdivided into 21 barangays. Majority of the barangays are considered rural areas. Languages Major languages spoken are Tandaganon, a language closely related to Suriganan, and Cebuano, Mindanao variant. Filipino and English are widely used in schools, businesses and government offices. Climate the municipality falls under the type 2 of climate in the country, which is characterized by rainfall distributed throughout the year, with a negligible short dry season. Wet season is highly pronounced from September to February with an annual average rainfall of 458.94 mm in, and an average temperature of 26.3 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit. Dry months are from March to August. Culture and festivals Tandig annually celebrates the feast day of San Nicolas de Tolentino, Tandig's patron saint, every 10 September. A novena in honor of San Nicolas is held for nine consecutive days starting 1 September in the San Nicolas de Tolentino Cathedral. It is the highlight of the city. S. Fiesta. In connection to this, a weeklong celebration is organized by the local government unit of Tandig. A parade, concert and bazaar are just some of annual perks lined up for said celebration. Dewatahan Festival is held every January in honor of Sto. Nino. 
Tandig City also organizes a one-day cultural dance competition for interested dance groups held at the Tandig City Plaza. Dawadahan Festival is the counterpart of Cebu City's Sinulog Festival. Since Tandig is the capital of the province of Surigao del Sur, it hosts the annual Ara ng Surigao del Sur celebration. A trade fair showcasing the products from the different municipalities of Surigao del Sur is one of the weeklong events while a local pageant entitled, Mutya ng Surigao del Sur held at the Tandig City Gymnasium in Bongtud serves as the highlight of the event. Summer Kite Festival, an annual event initiated by the city government of Tandig enhancing the artistic talent and creativity among the teenagers through the making of fantastic designs of kite enjoying the sun, sand and sea during summer time. Eco Sports Festival, it is always commemorated with carious colorful activities. Tandig City is one of the oldest settlements in Caraga and the capital of the province of Surigao del Sur is basically a coastal city, with 10 of its 21 barangays are coastal facing towards the Pacific Ocean. Hence, the city government of Tandig is initiating three-day activities relative to promoting the sincere concern of taking good care of our ocean. Participated by the youth sector enhancing their talents and skills in different sports activities such as skim boarding, frisbee, beach volley, Tandig Urban Adventure Race, Sand Castle Sculpture, and entertainment with live bands during the culmination of the activity of the Ocean Month celebration. TAMDA Festival, a Tandaganon variation of word, Tan Awa, which means to see beneath, or to take care of. This showcases the correct and historically accurate cultural festival and explains the Tandaganon's art dances, rituals, music, life ways, and creative expressions. It is an annual event of Tandig City in celebration of the Charter Day every 23 June. Birthday Celebration of Ayak Pimentel, a local holiday in which Tandaganons will have a feast coming from the budget of the city government. Places of interest San Isidro, Busay Falls Bioto, Cold Spring Pangi, Bugsukan Falls and Tagback Stream Salvacion, Abaca Plantation Quezon, Cave, Falls and Wildlife Matakdam Falls, Water Spring, Cave Forest and Wildlife Conservation San Agustin, Norte Beach Resort Mangroves Proton Mabuhay Panugmakan Creek, Potable Water Source, Mount Resort and Cave de Gokdok, Board Walk Dyke, and Floating Restaurant Awasion, Ihawan Mount Spring Resort, Hitab IP Gawad Kalinga, Project Pandanan, Cold Spring Rosario, Andap Falls and Spring Bag on Lungsad, Tandig City Boulevard Bongtud, Twin Linungao Island, Mankagongi Island and MPA Fish Sanctuary, Buena Vista, MPA Fish Sanctuary, Mabua Beach Resort, MPA Fish Sanctuary Transportation City Proper Tricycle, roams around the vicinity of the city, pedicabs accessibility by air via Tandig Airport, from Cebu, you can take direct flight to Tandig and Sevgo ply this route every MWF, via Francisco Bank. Angoy, Davao International Airport, from Manila or Cebu to Davao City as transit point, Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific and Sevgo ply the Manila Davao vice versa, approximately, one to half hour travel time, and Cebu Davao vice versa, approximately, 45 minutes travel time, several trips daily, via Surigao Airport, from Manila or Cebu to Surigao City as transit point, Sevgo ply these routes daily, via Bangkasi, Butuan Airport, from Manila or Cebu to Butuan City as transit point, Pal Express, Cebu Pacific, and Sevgo ply these routes three times a week. By land multicabs, vans and jeepneys around northern and southern Surigao del Sur routes include Surigao City, San Francisco, Agusan del Sur and Bislig City. Buses, direct travel with bus companies like Bachelor Express are serving routes from Davao City, Butuan City, Surigao City, and Mangagoy, Bislig City. Filtranco and PP bus line serving Pasay City, Cubao via Cantalan are also available. Buses, vans and jeepneys can be located at Tandig City Overland Transport, TCOTT, Balilahan Bus Terminal. Some jeepneys bound for Surigao City, Cantalan, Cortes, Tago, San Miguel, and nearby municipalities and barangays can be found at Moonglow Public Market. By sea inter-island vessel Cocaliang shipping lines ply the Cebu-Surigao City routes on regular schedules with Surigao City Port as transit point. Multi-cabs and tricycles are available at the wharf going to Surigao City Integrated Terminal for the regular bus trips to Tandig. Hospitals Adela Serra Thai Memorial Medical Center, soon will be a 250-bed DO. H. Tertiary Hospital 
Medical Mission Group Hospital Pama Polyclinic Cortero General Hospital Philippine Red Cross Tandig Education Basic Education Tandig Pilot Elementary School Tandig Central Elementary School Telahe Elementary School St. Teresa College of Tandig Basic Education Department Jacinto P. Elpa National High School Tandig National Science High School Vicente L. Pimentel Senior National High School Buenavista Nursery School Buenavista Elementary School Buenavista National High School Tandig Christian School, Inc. Surigao del Sur Sped Center Tandig Science Elementary School ENGR. Nestor Time Memorial Elementary School Bongtud Elementary School Melitan M. Ajos Memorial Elementary School San Jose Elementary School Mahanan Elementary School Mabuhay Elementary School Pandanan Elementary School Carmen Integrated School Baccalaureate St. Teresa College of Tandig College Department Surigao del Sur State University, Main Campus Media Commercial Retail Gaisano Capital Tandig is located along Cabrera and Navales Street. Gaisano Capital Group is a shopping mall chain in the Philippines, owned by Cebu-based Gaisano family. Sports and Recreation The Surigao del Sur Sports Center, also known as Gregorio P. Murillo Sports Complex, is a multi-sports complex located near at the provincial capital in Tandig and hosted the Caraga Regional Athletic Meet several times. Meanwhile the Tandig City Gymnasium is an indoor gymnasium located at Luis Perez Corner Sara Streets beside their police station. Sister Cities Malaybalay, Philippines References External links http colon slash slash services dot inquirer dot net slash print slash print php article underscore it equals two oh one one oh two one six three two oh six oh nine Philippine Standard Geographic Code Attractions in and near Tandig